So our question says, at what angle does the emerging ray leave the boundary of glass and air if the refractive index of, of the glass is 1.52? Okay, so whenever we're doing questions like this, it is always recommended to establish or to quickly sketch uh, a diagram to represent the question. So let's get a quick sketch of the diagram which would represent this question. Okay, so here we have our quick sketch and as we can see we have um, two materials here. Let me just label this one here. So this is our glass and this is air and we have a boundary that is formed between the two mediums so we have glass here here and this is our boundary and then we have our perpendicular normal which is an imaginary line that is drawn perpendicular to the surface or to the boundary and we have a ray that is traveling from glass to air so it is traveling in the glass and it strikes the boundary at an angle of 35 degrees to the normal and then it emerges on the other side so the question wants us to find um, the angle right at which the ray leaves the boundary so to do this question uh, there are a few things that we have to consider so so to solve this question, we will actually look at um, a very interesting law, which is called Snell's law. Right? And what Snell's law tells us is that that n1 sine theta1 is equal to n2 sine theta 2 so what's known as dice that is saying is that if we take the refractive index of one medium and multiply by the angle at which our light is traveling in that medium it is equal to the refractive index of the other medium multiplied by the sine of the angle that the light is traveling in that medium so knowing this we can use this to help us to solve our question. So first of all, let's write down some uh, values that we're given. So we're given the refractive index of glass. So we can say that the refractive index. So first of all, let's establish our medium. Let's consider this to be medium one. So this is medium one. One. And this here is for medium two. So let's write some variables now. So if medium one is our glass, we can say that the refractive index of glass N, N1 is equal to 1.52. Right? And the angle that the light is traveling in medium one, theta one, is equal to 35 degrees. Now for medium two, N2, that is air. We know that the refractive index of air is 1, right? And the angle that the light ray is traveling in air is what we're trying to find. So, so we're going to apply Snell's law to help us to solve this problem. So let me just write in some values that we, we know. So we know N1 to be 1.52. Let me just re rewrite Snell's law equation. So we say n1 sine theta1 is equal to n2 sine theta2. So we have n1 which is 1.52 multiplied by the sine of the angle which is 35. So we have sine 35 that is equal to n2 which is 1 multiplied by 
sin theta 2. So that's our expression. I'm going to go up here to complete this. So let me just change color here. Let's go with our um, Let's rewrite. So we have 1.52 multiplied by the sine of 35. Let me just find it right now. So we say sine 35 that equals the 0 0.574. So it's say 0 0.574. That is equal to 1 is just 1 multiplied by sine theta 2. So we can just say sine theta 2. Okay, so we can use the calculator to find the value of this side here. I'll tell you what, let me rewrite this, put in sine theta on the left side. So I'll say sine theta 2 is equal to 1.52 times 0 0.574 right so using our calculator uh, let me just clear and then say 1.52 multiplied by 0 0.574 and that works out to be 0 0.872 872. So sine theta 2 is equal to 0 0.872. So therefore, to find theta, we will have to take the inverse sine of both sides. So I'll say sine inverse of sine theta 2 is equal to the inverse sine of 0 0.872. Now, when we take the inverse sine of sine of sine theta 2, we'll end up with simply theta 2. And then we take the inverse sine of this, we'll have to get out our calculator. So I'll say shift sine of 0 0.872. And that works out to be 60.69. So let's say 60.7 degrees so it therefore means then that the angle or the ray entered at an angle of 35 degrees um, when traveling in glass met a boundary of glass and air and then emerged with an angle of 60.7 so we can say that theta 1 theta is equal to 60.7 degrees so this is how we would apply Snell's law to a problem like this. If there was anything in this video that you need further cl clarification on, you can always send me an email and I'll do my best to uh, respond to you. Like this video if it was helpful and if you think someone might benefit from it, please consider sharing, hitting the subscribe button and hitting the bell notification so you are notified of future videos when they become available. Thank you for watching.